All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a brand new couch because I got three brand new girlfriends. One Italian, one German, and one American. The American girl's on her own because they don't get along with anyone, including Americans. And uh, guys, by the way, we're not using the script today, so hopefully my accumulated 10 years of nutritional understanding <laughs> makes for a reasonable discussion about water. However, I will say I did comb my hair. So the amount of effort put into this video justifies you going to organsupplements.com and buying everything. So I can maybe convince a Russian princess to take care of me. But uh, let's get down to business. So today we're gonna discuss the mineral content of water and when you should be drinking certain types of water. Uh, we've done probably a dozen videos now on water in general. So uh, I'll try to quickly summarize why you would be drinking glass bottled mineral water, uh, most people know like the fluoride, chlorine, chemicals, birth control, estrogen. There's a lot of bad stuff in tap water. So by going with a glass bottle of mineral water from a clean source, you're hypothetically removing all of those negatives. And after that's removed, you know, we don't have to worry about poisoning ourselves, you know, slowing down our brain function, getting microplastics. We've removed most of the negative concerns. So the next thing to discuss is the TDS, the total dissolved solids, the mineral content of the water, which in the case of any of these waters, the manufacturer will print on the label, you know, the amount of TDS, and it's typically listing also the amount of calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. And the ratio is for the most part similar because the amount of minerals that occur in water are consistent ratio throughout the world. It's just whatever that mineral concentration is, it will be multiples higher. And to sum this up quickly uh, about this mineral thing is dependent on your calcium levels. So someone coming from a standard American diet or a diet that consumed a lot of dairy, you might have to opt for a low mineral water. Someone in a very weird circumstance like me that had copper toxicity, all these weird health issues that never consumed a lot of dairy, my calcium was actually low. So when I start taking magnesium and zinc, minerals that are antagonistic to calcium, I might actually have to increase my calcium intake. So in the case of a lot of you guys, you might be going with the low mineral water, you might be going with a high mineral water or uh, something somewhat in the middle. And uh, you know, I've been kind of all over the place monitoring this, but it's been more recently where you know I went from cooking all my food with Mountain Valley. So when I had rice, when I had udon noodles, there was a decent amount of calcium from the Mountain Valley in the food. I switched over to all Farallel, and you guys also see me drink Fiuji. Farallel and Fiuji being two low mineral Italian waters. And I started noticing I was getting tooth pain very quickly and I was having some side effects. And I was like, well, pretty obvious. What I changed in my diet was I reduced my calcium intake and I knew that magnesium and zinc can also reduce calcium. So as soon as I switched, to back to the Mountain Valley and also Gerosliner, which is a high calcium water, you know, I started feeling better and kind of utilizing it as a source of calcium. So can you take a calcium supplement? Yeah, uh, I've noticed that the mineral waters are the best way to get calcium from how you feel and a consistent absorption. So uh, we'll talk about each of these individually, each of these individually, starting with the Farallel. So on the bottle here, it says natural mineral water, low mineral content. Uh, again, I said Fiuji is another one. So uh, you could contact a local water distributor near you. Uh, if you go to like an Italian deli, an Italian specialty store, they'll usually have these Italian waters. Just says ingredients, mineral water, source is Rome. Total dissolved solids, 287 milligrams per liter. And we have 34 calcium, 27 potassium, five magnesium. So not as low as Fiuji, but still low enough that, you know, if you're supplementing other stuff, you know, even if you drink three or four bottles of this a day, if your magnesium supplementation is exceeding the calcium amount, you're generally going to need more calcium. So this is fairly low. Fiuji, as I said, is even lower. And if you have kidney stones, if you have high blood calcium levels, this is what you would want to drink because you wanna reduce the calcium as much as possible in the diet, and then you can supplement zinc and magnesium while drinking the low mineral water to eliminate calcium. Otherwise, if you're drinking a high calcium water, it might take a long time to adjust it. So, I probably 
probably, I think I said it already and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but the main thing we're determining today is based on your calcium status. There, there's nothing else to really consider here from a mineral content of water perspective. So TDS in Mountain Valley is 230, which is actually similar to Farallel. So Farallel TDS, 287. This is actually lower. However, the calcium amount is much higher. So calcium in Mountain Valley is 72, about double the Farallel. And the potassium and magnesium in, well, the magnesium is about the same ratio which is fine, but potassium is much lower. So because the Farallel has more potassium, there's more mineral balance there and you're not gonna get as high of a percentage of calcium compared to the other minerals. So Mountain Valley is kind of like in between Farallel and Gerolsteiner from a calcium perspective. So this is something that you can probably drink all day and cook with all day and not have to resort back to a low mineral water. But what happens with me is you know, if I'm drinking a lot of Mountain Valley or Gerald Steiner that's higher calcium, and I don't feel like I'm getting hydrated and my gut motility is low, then I switch to the low mineral water. So, you know, based on my thirst, based on how I feel, I'm kind of switching between these, uh, whichever quenches my thirst better and whichever I feel better drinking. And that's another thing. Uh, gut motility is very significant. So outside of the calcium status, you know, when you're drinking a high calcium water, that'll slow down your digestive system. When you're drinking a low calcium water, low mineral water, like Farallel or Fuji, that will speed up your digestive system. So if you're having constipation or any sort of bowel movement issues, that could be the amount of minerals in the water affecting that. So Gerolsteiner is incredibly high. Uh, it says total mineral content, 2,500 bicarbonate 1800 i mean that's just um that's because this is carbonated that doesn't really count so we can subtract 1800 from that which makes the tds 700 which is still three times higher than these other waters calcium 345 magnesium 100 very very high we, i mean we don't really pay attention to the other minerals here uh the potassium's 10 it's low sodium 115 not significant sulfate 35 not that big of a deal but the significant thing we're looking at here with Gerolsteiner is 345 milligrams of calcium compared to 70 in this, which is five times higher. And this was like 30. So this is literally 10 times higher in calcium than these other waters. So imagine if you're drinking two or three of these a day as your sole water source compared to someone drinking this. There's a very significant change in how you're going to function from digestion to how you feel with that level of calcium intake. So, you know, in the case where I depleted my calcium pretty heavily by switching to low mineral water and over supplementing zinc and magnesium, having this every morning for me makes sense. But again, if you're coming from a standard American diet, if you're doing raw primal and drinking too much dairy, if your calcium levels are high, if you're getting a hair mineral analysis, or you're getting blood work, you have to determine what your calcium level is. That's what you're looking at to see what you should be drinking. Because if your calcium levels are high and you're drinking something like Gerolsteiner, you would never be able to balance things out. Because get, getting, if you're getting 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams a day of calcium, there's no way you're going to be able to supplement enough magnesium or zinc to counteract that. It's just, it's not possible. And when you do supplement minerals specifically in the meal, that mineral intake is not going to negate the rest of the calcium being consumed throughout the day. Um, that's a very significant thing that I talked about in a recent day of eating was the mineral will inhibit and possibly affect the absorption of other minerals in that meal at that same point in time. You know, if you drink a Gerolsteiner for breakfast and have some zinc and magnesium with the breakfast, okay, maybe it's equalized. It's good. You're good to go. But if you have Gerolsteiner throughout the whole day, you're hydrating and you don't take zinc and magnesium with the other meals, your calcium is going to, it's about overall balance. And I'll say it again, 1500 milligrams, 1.5 grams of calcium. If you're drinking three, four, five of these a day, plus from your food, if you're drinking dairy too, it, it's very, very easy 
to get calcium levels super high. So I'm in a very unique circumstance with my health conditions and what I've supplemented that it's very, very rare to have for someone to have calcium levels as low as mine. That's why. That's why I got a full set of hair. Hair loss is heavily related to calcification and throughout most of my life, I never really consumed a lot of dairy. Um, so that, that's partially why my calcium levels are low, but it's probably the opposite for most people. So where, whereas I'm, you know, I'm now I'm having a bottle of this in the morning, I'm cooking my food back with this. You know, you should notice an immediate difference in the positive direction in how good you feel when you're on the right track. So, you know, you could try a low mineral water for a few days. You could try a high mineral water for a few days and, uh, and base it off of that. And oh, my rice is ready, boys. I gotta, I gotta wrap this up so I can eat my seven o'clock lunch. Yeah, and, and from a affordability perspective, a lot of you might just wanna get the cleanest, most affordable water source. Uh, there's a website called findaspring.com. So what I would personally do is I would buy a few cases of, of water Glass, so you have the glass bottles, and then after you drink all that water, you know, three, four, five cases of glass bottles, you go to the local spring once a week, fill up all the bottles, and, and that's a much more affordable way to do it if you don't want to be spending, you know, five or $10 a day in water. Uh, you, you can go to a distributor, and they, they'll sell you a pallet of water, and you can have a pallet of water in your garage in your house. Uh, that's the affordable way to do it, even though it's still not that cheap. You're not going to save that much money buying in bulk, but it, it depends on your budget. Um, and, and if your budget only allows you to go to a local spring and refill bottles, then you don't have the luxury of choosing the mineral content of your water, but you could add, you know, the natural chelations of minerals back in. It's just a little tricky to measure it out. Um, you know, we have a magnesium and zinc supplement right now on organ supplements that are important for balancing this. We don't have a calcium supplement now because I don't really think it's that relevant. Um, and if you do have a calcium deficiency, I think it's better and, and easier to get it from water consistently over the course of the day. Uh, you know, you know if, if there's a natural way to get something, I'm all for it. You know, I'd rather have, you know, my rice or whatever be cooked with a high calcium water as opposed to taking the supplement. But, you know, th there's no, no significant amount of magnesium in these and whatever is, you know, when you have four times the amount of calcium as magnesium typically in water, it's a wash. So you have to supplement the magnesium. Same with zinc. You can eat all the steak in the world. And if you're not absorbing the zinc from the steak because your digestion isn't optimal and the body isn't like 100% effective at converting everything, then you need to supplement zinc. So from a mineral supplement perspective, calcium is one of the rare ones that you can really get from food, whether it's high quality dairy or, or a high mineral water. Uh, there's not really... Any, any other ones I can think of besides uh, potassium and coconut water is also something, uh, another mineral you can get very effectively. Um, and I mean, yeah, there's natural ways to do, to, to do a lot of things like vitamin D from the sun, but for the most part, the majority of vitamins and minerals to really correct a deficiency, they need to be supplemented uh, or correct an imbalance. Yeah, so that's my 10 minutes of rambling for this week. Uh, haven't, haven't done any educational videos for you guys in a little while. So I thought this was something relevant to what I've been doing recently and something that I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, I mean, as I said in the beginning, we, we've done a lot of videos on water. So if you guys want the whole lowdown on water, uh, you can watch those. But, but basically, if you're drinking the high mineral water, you've removed all the negatives and then you have to determine, you know, what your mineral status is and how your gut motility is and, and what you should be drinking. Um, based off of that. But as with anything I tell you guys, you will feel it, you will notice an immediate difference. You're not gonna be questioning, is this working, is this not working? You're gonna know. Yeah, the German and Italian girl get along reasonably. Yeah, and I guess as a quick side note, uh, for those of you guys interested in the water kefir on Frankie Strange Foods, uh, we will be slightly increasing the mineral content with natural chelations. Um, but any, any of the products that I offer currently to you guys, like the Lemon Light, or the water kefir, the, the minerals are balanced in a way that it would not affect you. You're not gonna, you know, if you're buying water kefir from me or if you're buying lemon light from me, that's a natural ratio mineral, which means that it, it's not going to be able to correct or, or adjust anything. The, these, these waters though, the amount of calcium that occurs in certain places in nature from calcium carbonate is, 
is a little bit kind of unnatural. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't get too much into that today, but uh, you know, me mentioning that most people have excess levels of calcium, that is something that can also take months and months and months to fix. And if you're older, 50, 60 years old, and you have all this calcified tissue, you know, it could take years of taking the proper vitamins and minerals to, to get rid of all that extra calcium, uh, which is definitely a, a big concern. But as long as you don't feel too horrible and your health isn't suffering too much, it's not that bad. Uh, but anyway, thanks for joining, guys. If you go to frank you can see all of my interesting and unique uh, businesses where I, I have kind of my products I've created from my health ideas. Uh, more relevant to this video is, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have organsupplements.com where you guys can get uh, magnesium, zinc, uh, multi-mineral, multivitamin, and a whole bunch of things you might want to consider including in your diet. Uh, but yeah, guys, just drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.